Hello and welcome to What's for Dinner, where we cook up quick, efficient, healthy, wonderful, everyday ingredients. Oh, it's an epic. Get to the punchline. <laughs> Who in are you? In about half an hour. I'm Ken Costic. That's Ken Costic. And I'm Mary Jo Eustace, and Ken's right. Whatever you just said, I support completely. You do. I do, Thank you. sir. You're bowing to me like that. I like that. Yes. We're making an absolutely wonderful, delicious dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. Ken and I in tandem. What are we doing, sir? We are doing a North American beef stir fry. North American? Yes. Cool. Yes. With some fresh parsley and orange. That's Just like that juicy orange beef. Remember we oh, did that? Oh, I years? sure remember yes. that. That sounds yes. absolutely delicious. So if you want to grab a pen, I'll tell you. What were you doing there with that? Do you oh, like please? that? No, I don't. Oh. No, and I'm sure the viewers do. I think a few viewers enjoyed that. Read your recipe, okay. please. Okay, grab a pen. I'll give you the ingredients you require for the North American beef stir fry with orange and parsley. Woo! You need one tablespoon of olive oil, one pound of sirloin thinly sliced, one cup of broccoli cut into florets. Oh, I love that word, florets. Do you like florets? Yes. Four carrots lengthwise. Half a medium bulb of fennel, oh, chopped. Fennel. My goodness. Put that carrot down. Oh, okay. One red pepper sliced. One yellow pepper sliced. And guess what? One green pepper sliced. One bunch of green onion. Oh, half a cup of peace. chopped parsley. One quarter cup of orange juice, or juice from one orange. And one tablespoon of orange rind. And guess what? Some salt and pepper to test. There you go. piece of meat you've got there that's it's, huge. It certainly is. That's and like you know a bedrock steak we had yes. that one time. Yeah. Do you remember? Yes, the Flintstones. Do you care what I'm doing? I don't know. Should I tell you? Tell me. <laughs> tell me what okay. you're doing. Well, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to make a couscous to accompany uh -huh. your uh, dish, and I'm right. going to use some bananas right. and dried fruit in that. I thought that would be kind of fruity. Right. That would be good. Uh -huh. And I'm going to do a marinated mushroom dish. Oh, very and, good. And if I have time, I'm going to stir fry some asparagus. Guess what? Just came to me. Oh, go. Tip. Go. Did you know that beef today has 50% less fat in it than it did 10 years ago? Get out of town. Yes, so beef is a very good meal. I love beef. Yes, so do I. Yeah, I've said it. I think yeah. it's delicious, don't you? And you know what? This recipe, let me point out to you, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and germs, yes. And I'm also referring to you, <laughs> that, that you could use leftover beef. Look what you look what I've become. No, what? I've become very sensitive. I, I can't love take you. it like I used to. I love you, Mary Jo. Do you jo. love me? Well, a little I bit. won't go that far. A little bit, I think you do. Okay. Whatever. You know what I'm going to do? No. I'm slicing up my hard vegetables first. Yes. Okay. We're talking carrots. We're talking carrots. Then I'm going to do the fennel. Yeah. Guess what? Then I will thinly slice my meat. Okay, that's going to take you about two segments. So okay. I get on that first. And then I do the meat first. Move the meat. It. And then do the vegetables. Yes. That sounds really there good. There you go. Is your step shirt a little step. high up there? You, well, it's well, very high. Why? I'm very worried. No, it's fine. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm just going to chop up some bananas, a couple of bananas, and I've got some dried apricots, and I'm going to saute them in a little butter. Uh -huh. And I'm going to put in my couscous and then finish it off with some dried cranberries. Maybe Perfect. Five. Is that good? Thank you. There you go. Okay. Ouch, that hurt. It did. It hurt. It's okay, though. Now, I have to tell you something about Benjamin, my neighbor. Is this a three-year-old? Yes. Who's taller than you? <laughs> it's, it's and alarming. you know what? He has more hair than I do. Are you serious? Yes. Well, real hair. Yes. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> So, so what did Benji say? Anyways, Benjamin the other day yelled yeah. through the window, what through his, his parents' bedroom window. He wanted me to take him to the store. Every second day, I take him to the, the store. And get him candy, get him all hyped get up him and candy. sugared out. Get him candy. But he always has to buy his mom and dad, which I think is very responsible. What does he buy them? Chocolate bar. That is very nice. Each. Excellent. Yes, I buy so what did Benji him. say? Benjamin said, Kenny, I want to take your picture. Oh, Benji, why? <laughs> <laughs> why does he want your picture? 
Having a clue. Having a clue. So he said, do you know where I am? And I said, yes, I can see you in the uh, window I there. I live across the street. <laughs> yeah. In front. And, oh. oh sorry. Geez. I'm doing what I need to do to get they, my dish done. They hit me. Did they really? And I'm surprised about <laughs> that. <laughs> Ouch, the truth hurts. Okay, Benjamin, let's get back to Benjamin. Okay, what? So he had this little toy camera. Keep talking, it's fascinating. And he took my picture and made me pose on... At the, oh. On the front stairs. Can you imagine? That's not pretty. What were you wearing? Oh, my rag robe. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's not good. Pretty. I'm glad you know to hear what? that. First thing in the morning, the hair. hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a poor and Benji. then I had to take him for a walk to Suter's studio so he could put in his imitation film. Oh, that's so adorable. So we're you live in an imagine, imaginary <laughs> world a little bit, I don't you? I live in Benjamin's world. You do. Yeah. But isn't that cute? In front, I'm with fruit. Isn't that cute, it's little adorable. Benjamin? I can't wait to meet him. Yes, he's going to come visit. Excellent, absolutely. Alrighty, in front one more time okay. if you don't mind. You know what he did one day? What did he do? I, he wanted Ruby and Pearl to pull him in his wagon. Behind, yeah. And they did. He wouldn't stop. Yeah, Where seriously. Do you, oh, you know what seriously. you just look like? You just did a, a Kramer. You're so adorable. Seriously. Substitution. If you didn't have broccoli, you could use cauliflower in this dish. Would that be a good substitution? Yes, you could. Did you like that when I did you that? You could. That yeah. actually is a very good. Or you could use anything else that you have in the fridge. Today we're using bro uh, broccoli. Cauliflower ooh, would be a ooh, good thing. Ooh, ooh, uh oh, 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 it's not my week. I had a brainstorm. Your headband's too yeah, tight. Yeah, it's a little too tight. You know what I'm going to add in my couscous? What? And I hope you support me. Cinnamon. Okay. Wouldn't that be good? That is wonderful. And what? Got what? it. What? Came to me. What? Oh, sorry. What about some apple juice in the fridge? Let's see if we have some. Okay, why don't you go see if we have some? Ken's really working with me today. Have you noticed that? So I'm just going to put a bit of cinnamon in. Look at this. Throw in a little oh, bit. Ah, Kenny. Can you get the lid, sweetie? Okay, go. Okay, give it to the big girl. There we go. Um, <laughs> Just a tiny bit. That's it, that's and it. And I'm going to add water. You know what? Uh, the, a bit of a tip with cooking yes. with broccoli, if you want to make it really green, mm. is cook it really quickly at a high heat. Steam right. it. Never overcook broccoli. Right. Because you want that beautiful green color. Yes, and it gets greener as you steam it. But don't yes. overcook it. Don't overcook it. Because then it starts to wilt. Yeah. You don't want a wilted broccoli. Nobody wants a no. wilted broccoli. No, I don't think. Okay. okay. Excellent. Now, I've chopped up my first hard vegetable, which is a carrot. <laughs> and that took a while. <laughs> okay. Fennel. Oh, fennel's my favorite. It and is you your know favorite. What? what? Today, we're not wasting a thing. We're going to use every part of the fennel. Because all parts of fennel are edible. That's right. Who knew? Did yes. you know? I use this leafy part as garnish. Excellent. Yeah. And then the rest, the meat of the vegetable, uh, will be used in our stir fry. Yeah. Okay, so my couscous is on its way. Excuse me, I'm bending over. Don't like to do that to you. And I'm going to put a lid on my couscous, so my couscous is off to the races. Oh, sorry. There we go. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice up this purple onion mm -hmm. and I'm going to put some brown sugar and I'm going to let this right. marinate for a few moments. Perfect. And then I'm going to chop it in the chopper and then pour it over the mushrooms. Well, to instead of telling us, why don't you do it? I just want to inform the viewer of what we're doing. Look at this. Oh, Kenny. Now, the first thing in doing a stir fry, I have to tell you, yeah. is organization, getting all your vegetables in order. And you know what? what? This is a really good tip. Talk I do me. this quite often. Okay. Stir fries are really quick to do. And what I do is I get chop up all the vegetables about a couple of hours before my company comes. Do you really? Yes, and then I just you do have your them. hair, you pick out your outfit. Oh, it that takes, takes a me while. a long time. Three to four hours. It's long amazing. time. And then I shoes is a problem. I know. I know. Is it pumps or sandals? It's hard to open toed or close. Yeah. But you always look fabulous. Can I, I say know. that? Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. Okay. I'm going to get the walk on. Get your walk on, and then you've got to get on that beef. That's going to take you an hour and a half. <laughs> I'm going to slice, during the commercial break, I'm going to slice up the beef very thinly. Very thinly, please. I'm going to work on my meat. And before we go to the, uh, come back here, my nope. friend. Before we go kidding. to the break, I want to ask you a little trivia question, my oh, friend yes. in plaid who looks so handsome today. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Kenny, mm -hmm. what is schlag? A schlag? What's schlag? Okay. <laughs> well, I think I know. Ruminate for that a bit, and when we get back from the break, are you going to answer it? I think so. Okay, good. Yes. You're going to win the fridge. Here on What's for Dinner. Thank you. Hello, 
and welcome back to What's for Dinner. I'm just fluffing up my couscous with the apricots and the bananas, mm -hmm. and I'm going to finish it off with some dried cranberries and some green onions. But before I do that, I'd like to repeat the trivia question from my good friend Ken Costic Jr. I know Jr. the answer. Do you really? Yes. What, what is a slag? No, sweetie. What's slag? It's a woman of ill repute. Oh, Kenny, why are you looking at me when you say that? <laughs> no, it's German for whipped cream. Is you it should really? know that. <laughs> Did you not know that? No, I, I didn't. I stubbed you a few times. Okay, I'm just going to put my couscous off to the side and get on to my Have next dish. Have I given dish. you my tomato trivia question? Um, yeah, ask me again. Ask me again. Where did tomatoes originate? Did I ask you that? Yeah, word? you did, okay. sweetie. Uh, honey, you're taking two boards here. I know. I'm Can, stretching okay. out. Okay. Um, and, and Kenny is demonstrating as a true professional that peppers yes. are easier to cut if you cut them from the flesh as opposed right. to the skin. And how many times have you given that tip thus far? I don't know. I just saw the cardigan. I thought I'd go for it. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry about that. Can you cut this for me? Because yeah, I, sure. have yeah. to, I have to get on to my stir fry. Could you put your beef in? Thinly slice my beef. Well, thinly, that's a matter of debate here. Okay. But it looks very nice, Ken. It does. Yeah. Your beef looks nice. Okay. There you go. I need something else here. Okay, you go. do. Talk and we're going to saute our beef till it's done. Perfect. I'm going to salt and pepper. And this is a good recipe uh, as far as a stir fry for adding any other fresh herbs or dried herbs that you want. Exactly. Today we're going to add fresh parsley, but you could add something like coriander. Whatever your favorite spice is. And you know is. what? If what? you wanted to, you could add even something like ginger. Oh, Ken, mm -hmm. you know I love ginger. Yes. So, honey, here are your florets. Okay. Now, I've done this for you and your pepper. Now, what I'm going to do is I've uh, marinated my uh, red onion and my brown sugar. And what I'm going to do is take the chopper and puree yeah, it out. Yeah, I really don't understand what you're doing there, but... Oh, should I go through it again? <laughs> brown sugar. Brown sugar and onions. Uh -huh. And you marinate it. And then you put it in a chopper and chop it up. Uh -huh. And then you pour it over mushrooms, and it marinates the mushrooms, and you get this beautiful sweet onion texture oh. with some chili flakes. Well, that sounds very... Please, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> You don't like that? You're scaring me. Okay. So I'm going over here for the uh, chopahui, and I'm going to do that. Okay? Mary Jo, yeah. I love your outfit. Yes. It's well, about the shoes, Is though. it about the hose? No, the hose I don't mind. I'm wearing my orthopedic hose today <laughs> just to have everything in place for you. Control tops. Yeah, I need them. <laughs> well, they're yours. Where are them from you? Okay, behind and down. I'm you going to the wash them first. Okay. What? You've got to wash those ones before you give them back to I me. I will. Okay. okay, now this we had done. Um, there we go. Look how easy that was for her. I know. You are a true professional when it comes to appliances. I am a true man. I can take You're, off a lid. You work well with appliances, I've heard. Very well with appliances. I know. You too. Okay, in goes the beef. In, okay. We're so, going to remove, actually. So, how long? That was like a couple minutes. A couple dear. minutes, yeah. yeah. Two, uh, actually, about three minutes. Okay. So, the hard vegetables first. Okay. And I'm not going to add any more oil. Just I don't one. think you should. No. I don't think you should. Why are you coming? Because I want to be close you know, to you. <coughs> okay. Joe, we what? have a huge <laughs> kitchen here. I just, it's you been know expanded. What? Ooh, ooh. It's like separation anxiety. I need to be close to my friend in the plaid. Here I go. Okay, and then okay. I'm going to pour this over the mushrooms. My mushrooms are in the behind. fridge behind. And I'm going to put a little olive oil right. and some chili flakes so it'll be nice and spicy. What do you say? I think it's wonderful. Now, you laughed at me a bit, but doesn't that look delicious? Well, I was a Doesn't little concerned good? about it. That looks wonderful. Yeah. It Use does. this on your face. It'll clear up whatever's going on right there. <laughs> <laughs> Could you? <ya? laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it probably will, dear. Uh, okay. Okay, here Anyways. are my shrooms. Mary Jo, you're just a card. Doing the hard vegetables first. You are. Yeah, In you... goes the fennel next. I love fennel because okay. I love you. And there's my <laughs> stuff that I just, my marinade I just put on my mushrooms. Mary Jo, you're a married woman. Married? What's married? Kenny. Yes. What's married? Well, when you're around, what's married? I don't know. I've never been married. Not yet? No. Because I'd love to be a bridesmaid at your uh, wedding. No, more like best man. <laughs> Ouch. You look good in a tuxedo. You know what? Well, that's what I got married in before the operation. Uh. So, okay, look it. There are my mushrooms. Yes. I'm going to put a little olive oil. You know what? Uh -oh. I'm proud of you for that. Why? I didn't have much faith in that little concoction there. You should have faith in your little friend. Uh, well, she's not so little. She's not so little. Okay. We've just sautéed <laughs> the um, carrot yes. and the fennel. Yep. And now I think I'm going to march right over to my dried spice rack and add some 
dry spices. That How's sounds that? so good. You know, if you don't have a wok and you're doing a stir fry, don't freak out because you can always use a deep dish skillet would be a nice accoutrement. That's right. Okay. Because not everybody has a wok. Not everybody has a wok. Right. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, cut up my asparagus and I'm going to saute them in a little butter and some lemon rind. But what I'm going to do first is, I'm, look, at, I got the air miles. <laughs> I'm going to be able to go to Hong Kong after this. Oregano, okay. I've added about half a teaspoon. Okay. And because I feel like something a little spicy, mm -hmm. you want just me? because of the outfit you're wearing today, Thank some you. chili powder. Kenny, yes. excellent idea. I'm going to read the viewer mail now. Do you support me in go. that decision? Go. Go. Dear Ken and Mary Jo, hello. I just want to write and let you know how much we enjoy your show. We right. just love all the recipes, and we look forward to ending our day at your show, and we get a good laugh. And if they don't see it, they tape it. So that's Isn't wonderful. That nice? And they say it's nice at the end of the day to have a good yak with two, two people like us. So that's very cool. That's very nice. We uplift them. I love that. And that's you very... do that to me every single day. You uplift me. Are you serious? You do. Oh, gosh, I want to the come over there. The look of your cheerful face. What are you selling me? That's what I want to know. That's from Martini and I have a used Andrea. car yeah. in the back there. I'm sure some swampland and pagoda. I'm not biting. Okay. I got to get on to my, uh, my uh, asparagus. Okay. Now, yes, I've dear. added in all of my vegetables. We've got a wonderful array. Look how colorful that is. Okay. And this is the trick to cooking with a wok. I'm going to make a little uh, area in the center. This is your favorite tip. It's it so is. adorable. I'm going to make a little area in the center. Yeah. And... I'm going to add in the orange juice. Are you wearing tap shoes? Tap, I just saw you no. from behind. Do you have tap shoes? No. Okay, excuse me. In goes the orange rind. And we could have done that in the chopper. Yeah, Or we, we could can have. just chop it up manually. Right. But somebody did it for somebody me did just it prior. For you, to prior. So look at that. Look at that. The you orange know what? rind. I have to tell you something. Flavor. Flavor. Color. And lots of flavor, though. Presentation. Okay, in goes the beef. There goes the beef. Finally, that beef's getting in Here there. There goes the beef. Kenny, I must say, that really looks delicious. Yes. I'm not just a pretty face, you know. You no, know. you're not. What? That's I'm not sure. a pretty you're face? Not, no, you're so much more. There's the asparagus going in, and I'm going to um, zest some lemons myself to put a little lemon rind mm -hmm. in my dish right. with some salt and pepper. Okay. What do you think? I think that's wonderful. You support me. Yeah. In anything I do. Right. That's why I love you. Now, i got to tell you something. What? What? Uh, I had not only a problem with my plumbing. But my drains needed oh, I thought draining. Oh, get so personal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At Wait, my cabin. Your, your drains weren't draining? No. Who'd you call? I called Albert again. And did he come over? Mistake. Why? Well, you know, Albert runs the general store. So he's not really a plumber? No. So why are you calling but I, him? But I, I didn't find that out too much later. Till he tried to clear your drain and it, it was a bit disastrous. Big disaster. Was it really? Yeah. How's your stir-fry going? Wonderful. Okay. I'm zesting my lemon here and I'm going to put that on my asparagus with some salt and pepper. When we get back from the break... Right. This is a pretty fabulous dinner here on... It, what's for dinner? Yeah, right on. See you in a minute. Hello, and welcome back to What's for Dinner. I'm just going to get my kitchen scissors and give my parsley a haircut. You're going to say give yourself a trim. <laughs> And put some fresh parsley into your uh, beef stir yes. fry? Yes, and you noticed I added the fresh parsley at the very end. We're all done here. Oh, <laughs> that was so cute the way you said that. What? We're all, you just wrapped it up all on your own. Well, you know, you're very good at that. Now, I'm look. just um, cutting up some green onions, and I'm going to garnish our couscous with green right. onions. But I've got my, um, my marinated mushrooms, and I added some uh, chili powder. And I'm going to give this a swirl. And then I've got uh, the asparagus that I sautéed with a little lemon rind, some lemon juice, and salt and pepper. What do you think? See, and that's perfect because, again, what we're doing is we're going through our kitchen and our cupboards and our closets. And seeing what's in there. Seeing what's in there. Pulling it out. Sometimes I'm surprised. <laughs> Are you? But you know what? I bet you sometimes you're surprised at what <laughs> you have at home. I know. Have you ever done that? Gone yes. into the kitchen I don't and in know the where fridge and go... Oh, my God, what is that doing on the fridge? No, I did. I forgot. It's been there for weeks. A long time. Yeah. Now, I'm not suggesting you use that. But, no, no, but, you, you know, know, other stuff. It's good to become acquainted with your pantry. Where and try and it? use them. This is a, a stir fry is a perfect vegetable for vet, uh, a perfect recipe for vegetables that you have sitting in your fridge. A perfect vehicle. Do you like that? Yeah, lo I love that work? hand movement. Kenny, there we look go. at my mushrooms. They look pretty awesome, don't you think? With you the, know what? With the um, onion marinade. I'll never doubt you again, dear. You see, it's coming. It's coming. I have a good feeling about this. Yeah. Here's the asparagus, which looks absolutely wonderful. And which plate does that go on? Because I don't want to interfere the with The big you. one. 
in the big plate. Yeah, it's the main dish. We have our North American beef stir fry <laughs> yeah. with orange and fresh parsley. Kenny. Look at that. Yummy, yummy, in my tummy. Okay, yes. I'm going to behind. Uh huh. I've got my couscous over here, and I've chopped up uh, some nice green onion. And I've got some of those dried cranberries that I'm going to throw on. And you know what, Mary Jo? No. I want the viewers to see. We have here some leftover liquid, okay? Yeah. I would not throw that out. You I know would what I would either. do? Make a gravy or use it as a soup stock. Excellent. Yes. Excellent idea. I, you know what? In my kitchen, I don't waste a thing. I know you don't. You're very yeah. resourceful. I certainly am. And here's my asparagus. I'm going to put this on the plate. Look at that. Look at that. Kenneth Caustic. Some more parsley. A little more of a trim here. A trim? Yeah. Did we pull it together or what? Please <coughs> Your recap. Your couscous looks wonderful. Thank you. Do a little recap, would you? Okay. Again, our stir fry. Yeah. We also have here asparagus that you did in the frying pan. I did. You also have some couscous, and look how colorful and healthy that's going to be. And you have to explain those mushrooms again. Isn't that going to be absolutely delicious? Mm -hmm. it's going okay, to be can I? Would you like a little freshly ground black right. pepper, my friend? Okay. For our dish here, this is so excellent. Listen, we just have to tell you that we have a lot of fun here on What's for Dinner, we don't we? Do. We get the most amazing letters from our viewers. We totally appreciate them. They're wonderful. And I know it looks like sometimes we're not going to pull it together, but look, we, we did it. We always pull it together. You know why? Because we work as a team. We have faith in each other. We do. Don't we, sister? High five. <laughs> Tune in next time to What's for Dinner. See you around and take care. See ya. Bye-bye.